Oh, someone just asked me a good question. He goes, how did you know this was a 400 grit? Well, I don't know what that is. That's probably 80 grit or something. That's that's very, very tough. But I was in here uh, working with this stone. And I was going to do something for you here. I was going to say, like, if you use a rectangle stone like this, I just want to show you. What I'm doing is I'm leveling it because I wanted to sharpen a knife. I want to make sure it's level. Take another stone. And you just rub them together until the flat it's all flat. And you can see that's not a flat spot there. That's got a recession. What caused that? Putting it on an axe and going like this. Okay. Now, it, for an axe, it doesn't matter. But like I said, if you're going to do, and I, I don't use this for my plane blades, but for a knife, um, maybe a coarse knife, I, I would probably use this stone. And they asked me, how did you know what grid it was? Yeah, I'll show you. It's not marked on the package. This is real cheap hardware stone. And it will say it's a two-sided stone. Aluminum. What is that aluminum? What do they call it? I don't know what they call it. I, got, I would just call it a hardware stone. This coarse side, I don't care. I never really worry about keeping that flat. But it's two-sided, see? You got it really coarse here. And then it's got this side. What is this side? Well, generative AI ain't going to search the web and tell you this one. How do you know what that is? I said it's between 200 and 400 in the video. Take this side, okay? I'm going to take the, the fine side. I'm going to come down here. And on something that's kind of shiny, this is an old junkie. I, this is, I did not buy this. Somebody gave it to me from a rummage sale. And they said, you like cleavers. I, 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 I don't like cleavers. I like axes. But um, here's a cleaver for you. And I said, um, they actually gave me two of them. This is one of them. Uh, I, I don't know what to do with this. It says Stainless USA, but I can't get an edge on that. I'm not even going to try. Maybe I'll try. But what I can do with it is I can test out this. You take this side and you just rub it on here. Okay. See what it did? Okay. And then I'm going to find some paper that is marked. 400 grit paper. I take the 400 grit paper and I do the same thing. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that in a little block. There, now it'll be like a stone. And I'm going to compare. Well, look at that. Those scratches match those scratches. That's 400 grit sandpaper. I'm going to guess that's 400. Now, is it 380 or 420? <laughs> I, I just wanted to come close. And I come close. So I'm, I'm guessing that's 400. Let me try to do a paper that's even rougher than that. Oh, well, here's 60 grit. Let's see what 60 grit does. Yeah, see? So it ain't 60 grit. 60 grit's got some really good marks in there. But look at the, I don't know, can you see it in here? Can you see there's a difference? That these are deeper scratches than what was with the stone and what was before. So the 400 was closer to the stone than 60. So now let's see what else I got. Put a new package. Oh, you know what? got this box right here let's try i'm kind of curious if it might be maybe a 300 in this box this is really graduated there's 40 80 120 put that aside <coughs> 240 we're getting to where it might be interesting 320 okay so we're going to try some 320 Maybe it's 320. So let's see if that does it. Put this on here like this. See if I can take those marks out and get it down to match what the stone did. Okay, 
let's see. Ah, uh, those are still deeper. They're they're closer. Okay, let's go look at the stone again. Yeah, see that? Yeah, no, three twenty still deeper, leaving deeper marks than that four hundred. So let's go back to the four hundred again. In fact, let me get a different 400. Let me get a fresh 400 out. Right, here's a fresh 400. Yeah, see? 400. It's 400. I'm going to say this is 400 grit. Okay? That's what I'm getting as a match on my papers.